Good afternoon, this is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire, and we're pleased to be with you for another video. Today I want to talk about something that many people overlook in their e-kit. I think it's very, very important. If you remember our rules of three, the first rule of three is three seconds without blood. And what that tells us is that we need to pay attention to our first aid kit. Some people call it a self-care kit. Uh, whatever you call it, it's important that you have something that's half decent inside of your kit. <clears throat> now, one of the mistakes that a lot of people make is that they get one of these little kits. These kits basically are found at Walmart, uh, different dollar stores and things. They cost anywhere from, I don't know, five, ten, maybe fifteen dollars. When you open the kit up, you notice it says on here 33 piece kit. You open it up, it's got a little contact form. I guess that's okay if somebody needs to find you. Then out of a 30 piece kit, you get a couple of antiseptic wipes, an aspirin tablet or two, a different kind of aspirin, Tylenol I guess and aspirin, and there's some more uh, alcohol prep pads, and then, I don't know, 10 or 15 assorted band-aids, six of one, Ten of the smalls, and I guess that's a, a butterfly. Uh, one butterfly, I don't know what that would be good for. I carry at least ten or fifteen of those, but it's there. And a little tube of antibiotic ointment, enough that uh, you open that up, use it, and it's done. That's a ten dollar kit. And let me tell you something, guys. While this is great in a single event type situation, if you're out for four or five days with uh, one or two people, it probably is going to be something that could be a not complete kit. It comes in a plastic little box and uh, I, I would say the box is okay. It's kind of small so it'll slip in pockets, can slip in your shirt pocket. But essentially that's what you get. I have a, a subscriber who sent me a kit and I want to show that to you. One of the neat things about this kit, it's a Molly kit, it fits right on to my pack. And the first thing I want you to see about this first aid kit, it's put together by a gentleman named Skinny Medic and he is a paramedic. So he knows what to put in a first aid kit, he knows what items are more commonly used than others. But you can see on here it's got Molly straps, it's got the Molly attachments, it's got double zippers, these are Y2K zippers. Uh, this pack is equivalent. It's made of a thousand, uh, thousand denier and it's got mollies on it itself to attach other small items. And uh, this pack itself, in my opinion, I, I love packs, this pack itself is almost worth the entire price of the kit. That makes it a really good buy. But when I open up this kit, and as I said, uh, Skinny sent this to me, I was surprised when I opened it up. I'm going to take out a couple of things that I've put in here and show you that I've put extra because one of the things I noticed was there was more room. And so I have some extra Neosporin and little tablets here. And I put a pair of uh, hemostats in here in case I needed a pair of hemostats. Put a little Visine in there for eye wash. And I put a tube of Lanakine if you get an itch or a bite, that's good stuff. I also put in here a pair of needle nose tweezers and I think that's all that I put in here. A pair of toenail clippers. I, I believe in those things. I've added those into the kit. They don't come with the kit. But let me show you what he sent and what this kit uh, comprises of. Now I'm going to tell you right up front. This kit is $39. As I said, if you were to buy a bag similar to this from Maxpedition, Fox, whatever company, you're going to spend between $29 and $49 just for the kit. But look at the gear that he puts in here. First, there's a pair of scissors to help you cut your gauze, to help you cut tape, etc. A pair of rubber gloves. I don't know, there's one, two pair of rubber gloves, maybe three pair of rubber gloves in here. Those things are, are really good to keep things sterile. There's some bandaging tape. Instead of taking all these out, I'll just show you what they are. 
One of the nice things about this kit too, it, it's got segregated compartments, so you can put everything in its place, keep it, you know right where it is. There's a couple of band aids here, different size band aids, a couple, two or three packs of uh, of antibiotic ointment. Then up here you've got your Tylenol packs, you've got Tylenol, Ibuprofen, you've got Aspirin. You also have a couple of uh, different two-ply uh, cleaners, okay? You get three or four of those. Now a lot of these items are easily replaceable and uh, you can go down to your local store, you can buy these items and replace them as needed. You've got a good size roll of gauze pad here. This is a three and a half by 12 foot, okay? So 12 foot of gauze, that's a, that's a good, that's a, a stretch bandage. You can wrap around. Here is the kicker, and I think this is very, very important. Quick clot, okay? He includes quick clot in this. Stop major bleeding, uh, will help take it up. This is, is the, the sponge. It's sealed, hermetically sealed, so you can just keep that and use it as you need it. Another thing he includes in here are some triangular bandages. Okay, there's two of those triangular bandages. This is another item that I've added. I just added some hot hands and some moleskin. And I talked to him about this, and he said he thought moleskin was a really good additive. So you might want to get those things as well if they're not in the kits now. And uh, oh, a tube of SP50 or SP30. But in the back to the kit, what they've got in there, okay, is another stretch bandage, okay. And uh, another thing he's put in there is this little medicine kit. This is a sting and bite relief, and uh, it's benzocaine menthol. You just, it's, it's cool, it's a little crush pack. You just crush this, and you can put it on a sting or a bite, immediately relieve the itch, okay? And finally, we get to the bandages. These are uh, four by four gauze sponges, okay? All sterilely packed, individually packed, so you don't have to open a pack and, and have the rest be unsterled. There's five of those. Okay, there are two sterile combine pads. So again, you've got a pretty complete kit here. This is going to stop any kind of, of uh, bleeding. It's going to give you some triangular bandages if you need to wrap a limb that's possibly been broken or, or sprained. Uh, there's all sorts of things that you can do with a kit like this. As I said, by itself, I think the kit's pretty complete and I think Skinny Medic's done a great job. Uh, I've added a couple little items, and those those couple of items are just preferential items for me because I've noticed, uh, you know, a little triple bionic ointment, some lanocaine, some SPF 30, and some eye wash, some moleskin, and hot hands. Uh, other than that, I, I think this is a great kit. I think it's a very good starter, and I highly recommend that you uh, go over to Skinny Medic's site. I'm going to put the site down at the bottom end of the video. As well as on as as well as underneath in the comments, so go out there, take a look at this. Again, that pack itself is almost worth the money. You guys are doing a great job if you get this kit and use it as a starter for yourself or a complete kit if you don't have the time to put one together. So until we see you again, this is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire. We thank you so much for your viewership. Thank you for your support. Hope you have a great day, and hope this helps you with your medical needs.